Alright, in the last video we talked about what it means for a function to be one-to-one. -one. And we saw that it passed both the vertical and the horizontal line test. It's only in that case that we can deal with inverses. Notice here, only one-to-one -one functions are capable of having inverses. That's it. Okay, here we have a drawing of, an in, of a function. Now this passes both the vertical and the horizontal line test. So this blue line here is in fact a, a function, a one-to-one -one function. So that means it has an inverse. We're going to be finding that inverse. Now do you remember back a couple of videos ago, we talked about what it meant to be an inverse. And for functions, we said you literally switch the x and the y places. Well, let's look at this point by point. Here we have the point negative 2, negative 2. If I were to switch the x and the y values, I would still be at this point negative 2, negative 2. Let's try this next one. If I were to switch the x and the y places, that would be the point negative 1, comma 0, which would be right here. Negative 1, 0. And then this point, again, switch the x and the y places, that would be the point 0, comma 1, which would be right here. And for this last uh, point that they've identified here, if I again were to switch the x and the y places, that would be the point one half comma two. So one half comma two would be right about there. Now let me play connect the dots so we can see what happens here. These are all you know segments between these. So I'll try and draw it fairly decently. Kind of hard with my pen wit there. But look at what happened. Do you see that now we have a, this, my red graph here is the inverse function. But looking at it and the original function, do you see that they are symmetrical about the line y equals x? That will always be the case. Inverses, let's write that out, inverses are symmetrical about the line y equals x. This is always true. And I want us to notice one more thing before we move off of this problem. Do you see here that it said draw the graph of the inverse function f to the negative 1? That does not mean an exponent of negative 1. This notation literally means the inverse function. So we'll be seeing that a lot in this material.